Hello everyone, this is TJ with Robin Hood Coins and today we are hunting two boxes of nickels. Both boxes are from Wells Fargo which have been pretty good for us in the past. So we're hoping to find some silver nickels, some buffaloes, maybe some key dates or semi key dates. That would be great. Hopefully we find something good for our collection and something really good for the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video. As always, to enter the giveaway, just comment on the video. We'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner. So with that, let's get into these rolls. I'm working on roll number one, and we already have a 1947. Let's see what it is. It's a Philadelphia. There's no mint mark there, and it's pretty worn, but it's nice to see a 40s early in the box. All right, this is my second roll, and look, it's a war nickel. That is great. It looks like it's a Denver mint. Let's see what the year is. Okay, let's take a peek. And whoop, whoop, hang on, you gotta. And we have a 1943 Denver Mint War Nickel. That is great. Good job. Thanks. Holy cow. I have already seen both sides of this coin, so I already know what it is, but this is so exciting. I just found a 1938, and it's a Denver. <laughs> Looking right here on the Rob Finds Treasure coin mat, you can see it's a 1938D. It's a key date. I don't know off my uh, memory what the mintage is, but I will check it before the wrap up. And look at that. We have a key date in the box. And we are on roll number 10. That is crazy. Very, very cool. It's beat up and worn and dirty, but you know what? We will take that all day long. Also, a couple rolls ago, I found this 1983 Denver. Look at how nice that is. I do not find these in that condition very often at all. You could even see most of the steps, uh, so that's really cool. And then we had a couple 50s, 58 uh, 57 and 59. So, man, this box is off to a great start. We are working on roll number 20 and 21, and my wife just handed me this 1940 that she found. Let's see the mint mark, and it's a Philadelphia. But it's a 1940, 80 years old. We will take it all day long. And a couple of rolls ago, we had a 1959 as well. I am working on roll number 24, and it looks like I may have a war nickel. Look at that right there. It has that greenish look to it. Let's see what it is. And it is. It's a Philadelphia. Look at that. That is great. Oh, that is awesome. Love finding silver in the rolls two of them in one box too that's only happened one other time also over the past couple of rolls my wife found this i don't know if it's a dryer coin it doesn't really look like it. it looks like just something that was really scraped up but man that thing has been beat up we are working on roll number 29 and roll number 30 and i just found this 1946 Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a Philadelphia. Well, it's still a 1946, so we will take it. And also, last roll, my wife handed me this, 1948. And it's a Philadelphia as well. Getting some 40s on the board, though. That's good stuff. We are working on roll number 31 and 32, and I just thought this was ironic. My roll right here has a 1956 and a 1958 right next to each other, and my wife has handed me another one. So there's the 56, and I already looked at this one. It is a Philadelphia. Then we had the 58 right next to it, which is a Philadelphia as well. But my wife, before I turned it on, had given me this 1952. So her roll had this 52, and it looks like it is a Denver. And then she just handed me this 1958 right here, oh. which is another Denver. 
And she's handing me another one, which is a 57. It's just a lot of 57s. This one's a Denver. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> and then a 58. Does these two rolls have had six 1950s in them? Look at that. That's just, that's a lot. To put it in perspective, we only had five 50s before this. I just cracked in a roll number 33, and this probably isn't, but it could be a silver nickel. Just look at it right there. You could see that coloration difference, but it's not as green as the last one, so... Nope, it is not. I'm working on roll number 39, and I found our first foreign for the night. It is a Canadian 1973. I really like the Canadian scents, especially the quarters and the nickels with the beaver and the other animals on their, on their coinage. That's really cool. We are working on roll 42 and 43, and my wife couldn't be outdone. She had to find a foreign as well. Hers is a Panama. It's a Balboa. And there it is, 2017 Republica de Panama. Got to love it. I don't normally find two in one box, so that's pretty exciting. I am working on roll number 46, and it looks like we have a penny in the roll. Look at that. That's a bummer. Now, it also looks like that one could be a silver nickel. Probably not. It actually doesn't look like it. Nope. But let's see if it's a penny. I think it is. And it is. It's a 2019. Last four cents on that deal. We just finished up the last roll of the first box. And we found this nice 1963. That was very nice. Looks like you can see some of the steps. So that is cool. And then we also had another 1950s, a 58 Denver, it looks like. And so now we're gonna crack into, oh, we also had two 2009s in that box. And now we're gonna crack in a box number two. We are on roll number 10 of the second box. And after my little helper splayed out these coins, she noticed that right there looks a little interesting. So, you want to go ahead and open it up? I think it's a silver. Take a look at it. Well, it's a 1943. Is that a silver? It's a silver! That is great. Let me see it. Oh, wow. It's a Philadelphia, it looks like. Is that it is. a silver? That is great. It isn't. You spotted it while it was in the roll. I just knew it was a silver. I knew it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Good job! I just got done with roll no number 20 and this is the, the, um, this is a 1947. What's the mint mark? It is an S if you guys can't see. Yep, right there, San Francisco. Good. And what's the other one you found? And a 1947. Denver. Very cool. You found two 40s. You found all the 40s in this box so far. <laughs> Even the silver nickel. And we also had a couple 50s. Four 50s right there. And this makes number five. It's a 55 Denver. So we'll have to check uh, the D over S on that one. I got oh. a couple. Oh, and then my wife also had found a couple over the past couple of rolls. So we got another 1957 Denver. We're on roll 26 and I just found my first 40s of the box of the second box. It's a 1947 and it's a Philadelphia. And then last roll we had a 1955 Denver. We'll look for that uh, D over S on that one. I'm on roll 33 and I found this 1951. And what is it? It is a Denver. 
Yep, it's a 1951 Denver, and I knew the 50 Denver was a low mintage, so we checked the Red Book real quick, and this one has only 20 million minted, so then I had her check her folder, and what happened? I, we, I need it in my binder. That's right, so that's going to fill a spot in her folder. Yay. We are working on roll 44, and my wife just handed me a couple coins. We have a 1941... And it's a Philadelphia right there. That is cool. And then she also handed me this Denver. And it is a 1957. I found a couple rolls ago a 1958 Denver as well. We are all done hunting the rolls. And now it's time to look at these four varieties. All right, so we are all done going through the rolls. And I looked through those coins that we set aside looking for varieties, no varieties. So it's time for the overall wrap-up. And this was a pretty good hunt. We ended up with a total of 1 in the 30s, 11 in the 40s. And of those 11, 3 of them were silver nickels. So that was really cool. And this 1938 right here, this Denver, is a key date. That is really exciting. The letters and everything are, are still pretty leg legible, but it has some sort of like aluminum color painting or something on the front. It's almost shiny, like almost like glittery. I don't know if maybe someone used Nicodate on it. I haven't used Nicodate yet, so I don't know exactly what it does to the coin. But this one just looks interesting, some sort of paint or something on there. But it's still a key date, and I don't think we have one. If we have one, it's only one other one. So that is really cool. And then we had three of the silver nickels. We had the 1943 Denver right there. Then we had the 1943 Philadelphia. That was really cool. And then finally, we had a 1943 Philadelphia as well. So it was really exciting to see my wife and my little helper both find them. That was fun for them. So that was fun for me. And then uh, we had a couple of the common 40s. I mean, 40 Philadelphia. All the top ones right here are Philadelphia. We did get this 1947 San Francisco, which was only about 20 million minted and uh, not low mintage or semi key or anything like that but I'm pretty sure it's going to fill a spot in the Little Helper's uh, folder. I did check my Littlest Helper's folder. We already put the 1951 Denver that she found in there, so that was cool. We had a total of 23 of the 50s, including that 51 Denver that we put in the folder, and then we had five 2009s. I'm going to send a couple of them back because they're pretty dirty, but this one's not that bad. Um, so I'll probably go ahead and keep that one. And then we had two foreigns. We had the Panama coin right here, the Balboa. That was really cool. 2017. And then we had the 1973 Canadian. Got to love that. That is cool. I might have to break down and buy some of those uh, Canadian folders. We had a penny in the roll, so that's a miscellaneous, minus four cents. And then we had that chewed up coin that I showed earlier in the hunt. Just a good variety. Gotta love finding silver. Wish we would have found some buffaloes, but still, three silvers in two boxes, I'll take it all day long. So the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video is going to be these four nickels. We got a 1941, a 52, a 2009, and this 1943 silver nickel from philadelphia got to love that as always to enter the giveaway just comment on the video we'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner well i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a lot of fun for us uh, it was good to have my little helpers help there in the second box if so smash that like button if you like our content hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos or giveaways and we will see you on the next hunt